What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Hey Rules Guru. I was listening to this dude video. In this segment right here, I just had to pull out my video software and just do I don't even, I don't have a YouTube channel. I was trying to do a channel for sports, soccer. I was building it. But I also have a, a idea that I want to just correct some things I'm hearing on the internet. Or not just correct it, maybe just help it along or re-steer the narrative a little bit. And I'm trying to steer in the truth direction, not in my direction. I don't have a direction. I have truth. And I just got, you just got to hit this. Listen to this guy, man. And, I, and, and then I'm going to just tell you why I disagree with this. And not just what he's saying. You want a good video. It's a great video. But this is a misnomer, man. There's got to be a misnomer, man. Of us, the Listen, people, is one thing and one thing only, and that, my friends, is debt. Now, remember, one of the most tempting aspects for individuals to participate in the Great Reset is that all their debt will be eliminated. And even just saying those words out loud, I can't help but think how familiar this all sounds. Oh, that's right. The person in the White House has the agenda of wanting to eliminate all student debt. Now, guys, I'm not saying that's not a good thing, right? There's a lot of people that have been weighed down. They can't buy homes. They can't live the life they want to do because they've been hunkered by student debt. Now, on the other hand of the spectrum, I wish that a lot of people would take responsibility and understand that, look, it was you that signed on the dotted line. It was you that put your signature on those loans in the first place. Hold on. Hold on. Time out. You're right. It was it was us. But this is a type of predatory lending, bro. I'm going to just let you know. Let me tell you why I stopped paying my student loan. I had. It was only about four or $5,000 left on the whatever, right? It's in default, whatever, whatever. They intercepted my tax refund one year. 37 I don't know exact figures. But it left about six, $700 left on the balance. And I'm like, okay, okay, they got it, okay. And I just forgot about it, moving around, whatever it was. Do you know they allowed that $600 balance to inflate with interest back to almost the original amount I owed? I said, you know what? They can have that. I, I wish I would pay that. That's a Ponzi scheme, a scam. It's, it's, it's something. But I didn't agree to that. And I'm 18. I, I'm just, I didn't teach us anything about that in high school particularly now if you if you were lucky enough smart enough that calculus classes in high school you might have got some of those interest formulas taught to you but would you have known that was the case written in that thick ass contract they make you sign and they didn't require your mom to sign it you're 18 you grown and they, they, ain't require, they ain't require her signature just your signature because you're the ignorant naive one that they can predate, they prey on. Man, come on, man. And there's one more thing I disagree, man. Hold on. With the expectancy to pay those loans off. Now, I get it. It has hunkered a lot of people down financially, but let's talk about this in the form, in the context of the Great Reset. Anybody with any economic experience will tell you that debt just doesn't get eliminated. There's no magical fairy or government official that can just snap nah. their fingers like that nah. and remove nah. all of your debt. Nah. That just simply cannot he ain't no happen. Ace, no Jack Blah. Let me get him two pills. Or it has Thank to be you, transferred. It has to be one of those two things. Hold on. And my Time biggest out. concern is that currently it looks like the magical fairy or government official that can just snap their fingers like Thanos and remove all of your debt. That Wait a minute. Why they can't? Why can't they? To explain to me why they can't snap their fingers and eliminate this debt. Just tell me why they cannot. This is the biggest disagreement I have with this guy. Come on, guy. Just think in your brain. Let's have an open mind. First of all, most of this debt is inflated imaginary. Okay? Let's, let's get it that way. Let's, let's, let's put that out there. Okay? Secondly, no, I ain't calling that. Secondly, most of this debt, who, let, let's track this debt. Who is the beneficiaries of this debt? Let's track it. Okay? Big banks. Big government, big corp. Who 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 owns the debt? Why can't they forgive it? Why can't I, listen? Let's just say 
me and you, my buddy, I loan him a thousand bucks. Say, man, pay me back five hundred at the end of the year. Okay, boom, I'm sit out for a minute. Pay him five hundred at the end of the year. Boom. Say, uh, I said, man, you don't pay him back any. I'm gonna add a hundred dollars every time. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, you ain't paying back three years. That's two thousand. Then he like, man, I could listen. I understand the the original loan. The little person, the original person who loaned out this money, they want their original money back. At least they do want that. I I agree with that. But if I told him, say, man, just pay me back a thousand, man. Don't worry about it, all the rest of that. Why can't Why can't the government do that? Why can't they? Why can't they freeze the interest and stop allowing this debt to just inflate, 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 imaginary inflate? Inflate, inflate, until you can't pay it back, until you boggle down like you just said, hunker down. You said it. You said we've been hunkered down by that very thing, and we should, and the government should be ashamed of themselves for for dishing out that type of contract to these chill kids, wishing to go to college and just want to be something great, live the American dream. And they got a predatory contract that they signed to go to school. And they don't realize they're going to owe $50,000. And we don't pay it back in a timely manner. That inflation is going to continue. And you, it's going to remain the same. You're never going to pay it back. Man, get out of here, man. Please, please, man. Please, 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 please. Please, man. You got so many subscribers. And you got the people thinking that they can't wipe the debt away. They can. At least a significant portion of it. Now, if you're going to sit there and argue with me and say they can't wipe it out, totally, I, I agree. Okay? I agree. They can't wipe it out 100%. They're not going to. But they can, actually. Because what they're going to lose? What they're going to lose? They, they, they got the money. Right now, they're operating. They're not getting paid a dime of the money that they owe. So if they say, you know what, we ain't going to never get it. That's what they call a write-off. Companies do it all the time. They have debt owed to them. They got to write it off. It's lost. Money lost. But guess what? It's not money lost. Somebody else got the money. Somebody else is able to live and survive. So that has to happen in order for an economy to function anyway. Because there's no such thing as making money. You got to get somebody to give their money to you. So eventually somebody's not going to have the money. So this is either this economy or this, 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 this whatever this shit is we're running, it ain't working. It's, it doesn't work. And to be honest with you, the government is funneling all the money out anyway. Because when you look at the interest, the, uh, the taxes, the, all that, eventually all the money gets sucked out of the people and they don't have any more money. To me, that's why they got to fake a damn crisis every 10 years. They got to figure out how they're going to get the money back. They took it all. Throughout a 10-year course, man, you count your money. You got money in saving, they taxing that. You take $100 you made out of, say you got $100 left for your check. You pay all your mortgage, you pay your tiller, you got tax out of that. You pay grocery, you got tax out of that. You got $100 left. You decide to go Put a few bucks on a lottery ticket. Guess what? They want 33% of that. And guess what? You, you take your little winnings home. I, I, I accept it. I won $100 million. They took $33 million of it. I'll take it. I will see something. Well, who could be mad at 60 something million? So you accept it. Okay. But guess what? You're reporting that on your taxes next year. They want some more of that. They want 25% of that. <clears throat> guess what? You leaving it in a savings account? You savings? Oh, we got savings tax for your ass. We got luxury tax. We got all the tax you want. We'll take all the money. And you mean to tell me they can't wipe some of this debt out? Man, please, bro. Please, bro. Please, bro. I like the videos. I ain't even finished watching your video. I want to read your zero to 75 units in one year, but I looked at the rental price. So how? How could they own zero to seven by how many? Every, that's not for everybody. Everybody ain't going to be able to do it. It's not that many houses out there available. So I don't know what's going on. But 
I just at least want you to let the people know they can. They can erase this debt. Because most of it is imaginary. Just be honest with yourselves. I don't even want to show no more of your clip, bro. Simply if you want me to take this video down, I'll take the shit down. But guess what? 